Hello, good evening, and welcome to the stream. Yes. Managed a Sunday stream. And then let's double check. Have we got transcoding and such? Let's have a look. Pretty please, Twitch. <laughs> okay. Are we live? We're live. Okay. Source. Got transcoding as well. Excelente. We like that kind. Yes, we do. Okay. Which means we can do... Uh, we can do some of the uh, fun stuff. We can do the social mediaing. Get into game, why don't I? Okay, there's one done. And kaboom, kaboom, somewhere. Hodor Raid's going to be the first order of business, clearly. Zeon Shrimp, good evening, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Yes, we're, we're good to go. I've done all the, the necessary. And I need to talk in Hodor chat. It's been a while. Join the raid, I shall. First time trying to go to... Well, actually, technically not the first time this tune has been to Pand or the Beast Room, but that was down to Space Quest. <laughs> Teleported me there just to kill me a lot. I'll be needing buffs, I think. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't streamed on a Sunday for quite a while, actually. And only because... I've um, <laughs> just been too busy, basically. Um, but this time, yes, we can manage. Where's my nano bud? Oh dear, what have I done? I thought I put them all in a neat place, but I did not. Oh well, It'll be fine once I start draining.
So the main reason I wanted to do Pan was um, to complete the Ergo quest. Which is where I should still have it. More questions. The beast really, the, yeah, there you go. So you get the quest from one of the Yotos. You got to go to Ergo. Ergo sends you to fetch something. You come back to Ergo and then Ergo says, go and get the Libra code. You bring those back to Ergo. And then finally Ergo says, go find the beast. So as long as you're there when the beast dies, all is good. Oh, don't crash already, for God's sake. It has as well, hasn't it? <sighs> oh, yeah. Vanilla engine incoming. I haven't even gotten in to pan yet. Deary, deary me. Savik, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How the devil are you? Come on, Streamlabs, don't give me hard time. Yep, it's picked it up. That's good. I'm doing good and you I'm I'm okay. Yeah. Wanna get this beast run done. Did everybody crash it? Panned? There's nobody here. No, I've done the wrong thing. <laughs> Just extended the mission window like five million miles. What I actually wanted to do was grab the top of the... That's worse than an Apple Mac. No, I just want to shorten this. No, I don't want to do... Oh. Dear God, give me the, that, the top to bottom. Why? Urgh. Fine. <laughs> Have they already stepped? Did I miss it? Finally. God, that was annoying. I couldn't resize that window at all. It was just going, nope. Down the ramp. What, we're doing real pan first? Yes, I'm doing okay. So I wanted to get this done so I'd at least have the... Um, oh, God. Uh, the be You know, the class star. I've had the mission for it for ages and I've just not got round to getting to the beast room and killing it. Last time we were there, there were issues where someone else had just killed... Well, I uh, real panned is like that, though, isn't it?
So it was, yeah, okay. Oh, I've got loads more to do. Got all these to move across. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because I'm not healing or something, but I just, I like to have them there. Just a me thing. I'll crash and I'll have to do it all again. <laughs> Are you not Hodor raiding today, Sabic? Mark, welcome to the stream. No, I packed... Oh, you packed up the computer. Ooh, it's exciting. It's all happening. I know what you're talking about. I don't think the rest of chat has got a clue. <laughs> is it this week then you everything's uh transcending <laughs> moving tomorrow right you're all well what am i saying of course you're organized <laughs> be vans be friends for helping hired all the people you need volpu welcome to the stream i'm just doing a bit of um Pandemonium with Hodor Raid this evening. Just that, though. Um, I have time to stream now, but I won't have after this this raid is done, I think. I'll be busy cooking dinner. I'm having bratwurst, chips, fries, and uh, fried eggs. Nom, 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 nom. You're also at Panned with Hodor. I never know. You've got so many. You're like me. You've just got so many characters. I don't know who, who, what, why, when. Yes, and uh, we has the graces now. 22 of them. One a week till the end of the year. This tune is undercover. Not really, but a bit. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool. I'm going to win all of them. <laughs> Let's try and figure out who who his tune is. His undercover tune. Don't know. <laughs> we have named it something we'll never guess. Yeah, I crashed right at the beginning. Dirt, new engine at a big raid. Foolish idea. Um, and when I when I got back on, everyone had disappeared. And I thought, oh God, they've gone. They've, they've gone early. If you guess, we'll be awesome. Totally not Vulpu. Yeah, it's called Totally Not Vulpu. Let's have a look. Ruby 14, maybe. Or it could be... Hmm. Don't know. That would be my guess, and it's probably wrong. <laughs> hmm. 
You have three guesses. I will not say you got it. I think it's either Ruby 14. Could that be your NT? No. Not geared enough. <laughs> Almost full raid, yeah. I haven't even got everybody on display. Oh, careful. Careful. They're moving people round. And if you move the same person at the same time as the, uh, the raid leader, goodbye. <laughs> It <laughs> just crashed the desktop instantly. The game cannot hold <laughs> Alt Volpu, yeah. If you're in Volpu's guild, just quickly... <laughs> and then send me a tell. And said undercover, yeah. Even his own guild does not know. Did I join? I think I did. It's been a while. I haven't done any Hodor for uh, a little while. You're already in the raid. Okay. March out. Who is Volpu? Team Wrangler Premium. You've already got this. Damn. I could have checked and passed it to someone. That was my daily login reward. So, yeah, never mind. Shall get some liquid. Should have time. Mark, hydrate for 100, yes. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably never guess, but that I would probably guess that and or... Ooh. Tychus, maybe? Could be anything. We seek him here, we seek him there, but we don't know. Could it be Nanofight? Uh, that's my three guesses and I probably missed each and every time. It has the big umbral running. Trying to establish my worth. Enhanced sure shot, which is going to vanish <laughs> as soon as we move and I start draining and whatnot. We'll be silent as a fish. That's an expression I've not heard before. <laughs> that sounds like, I don't know, one of these expressions that is common in that country, but. Uh, no one said or oh, that region, but no one says it outside of that region. <laughs> it's Jew Quitrix. What's the MP build? I don't know actually. I got a bit fed up of my MP. 
I mean, I'm never going to delete him because who who doesn't want, you know, a Moochum's dispenser on their account? But, yeah. The Laris 225 Ruin is doable with quite the margin on a truck. Oh, there you go. Now, you have got Eye of the Zion um, and the new brain and such, haven't you? So, and the eye. So, yeah, you can get MC very high now. So we're doing real, real panned. on this guy. Okay, he's nicely drained now. This drains as well. Can't let sense. For once, I don't need. Doja. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> don't have to worry about it now. However, you're still going to have to hot swap a f nearly a full bag. Wow. Have a look at that setup. Yeah, I did. Uh, I got over the three k um, Atrox NT. That's done now. Pretty nice as well. But it is a full-on, like, damage build. <laughs> I like him, though. I actually like it more than my up effects NT now. Don't know why. Just, you know, certain characters somehow just feel a little different to play.
always feels like there's a lot more mobs respawning a lot faster with uh, real pan versus eye pan. Oh, come on. Going on. I'm rusty. I'm not. My wall jumping game is, is not up there. Yet. MC you need for the um, the 225 rowing. Dude, oh, someone's got a better damage drain than me. I keep forgetting this one. Unstoppable killer. Oh, I haven't got enough NCU. Yay. <laughs> uh, probably do without SFA. Do without cost as well. Yeah. But he's already dead. <laughs> We've already even got chance. So how is the chat today? Are you well? Are you okay? Are you having a good time? Cancer's time-saving memory. Not something I need, I don't think. Twenty-five points were removed. But why? <laughs> I don't know what. I think they overdid points or something. They're trying to correct it. I'm still doing big map so people can find their way. did it yeah it was like oops first mid oh my jumping skills are terrible today What's going on? Usually I just breeze through this.
will he be up long enough for me to debuff him? That is the question, it seems like. Maybe not. how it goes on my trader too seems to be the fix away yeah i don't know what it is trader not fix it yeah it's it's weird Into you, left. Where else have I got running? My circle can go. No, <laughs> still not enough. God damn. The tasty Taurus loot was inviting. Capricorn's reliable memory. I don't. Nah. Is a no from me. Zizon, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Capricorn's Guide to Alchemy is free for all. Well, it's a bit more psychic, but... In a pinch. If you actually need it, you need it. I think it's probably better items, though. Then again, I've got lots of auras and buffs running with the team. Look, so I've got to go grab the dog. Sundays do seem to be the quietest day for the streams, I think, unless there's actually an event or something. So if one had to go, it'd probably be this one, I don't know. Although, you know, some people Sunday's the chill stream. Thought Sunday would be a good day. Yeah, people do, quite a lot of people do family stuff on Sundays though, don't they? You know, like the big family dinners and all that kind of stuff.
You would think 900 NCU would be enough, wouldn't you? But nope. <laughs> no, not in this game. Yeah, I mean, some people just chill on their own on a Sunday, and yeah, then it would make sense. But also, not, it would seem. Blockneers! Welcome to the stream. I've seen you for a little while. Nice to see you. How the devil are you? I've been away from the AO. And busy, busy. All good, I hope. But Busy summer. All right. Good to hear. I like to know people are doing well. And when they're not. I'm just a nosy bugger, really, aren't I? Charge on. Now yeah, we haven't really done much, but you know, we've done a couple of bits and pieces. Things make the raid work. Teamwork makes the raid work. seagulls. We're used to them, really. I mean, the only thing we've actually done, apart from going out for something to eat once or twice, <laughs> is a day out of Chester, that's kind of it. So we used to go out more a few years ago, but... Before the dark days, before the Xbox, and <laughs> Netflix, and and, and, and. Yeah. 
when it was all like, oh, let's do something, you know. Someone there, someone fell, fell off or crashed, maybe even both. Senior subjugate or First time proper into the beast lair on this tune. Doesn't count when um, <laughs> Space Quest teleports you here and lets you die. That's different. This is their first real uh, run to here. I need my chair to be about that much taller than it is so my arms aren't doing that. Uh, maybe a cushion or something? Might be a plan. Juno6, hello famous internet man. No, I'm not. the humidity I'm critting on the beast the ads to spawn. They're like, where are they? Oh, there they are. spawned on us. We were very quick though, bringing him down. Oh, notification on the phone. dead. I can't remember, do I click corpse or the portal? 
the mission. Portal, innit? Yay! You've completed door to door salesman 10. Yay. Uh, fast talk is dodge range, max health, a bit of stuff. Hostile takeover. What was that? Shotgun. Lots and lots of shotgun stuff. So we're going for fast talk next. I'm guessing there's no block because it's not being raffled yet. Thought the beast was supposed to be hard. It was back in the day, but power creep. Players got more and more powerful, and then you know, proper raids and stuff. Then yeah. He got swarmed. He did get swarmed, yeah. Just the gauntlets. Okay. I'm going to get my star. And... There we go. You know, found and shut down the terminal. Da, 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 da. If number nine is none of those nodes, you better hurry back. Inform him of the status. Yes, indeed. Pew. Hardest content is Subway. Yeah, it's either Humanity... I would say Humanity's fight in the Subway. The rest of the Subway is kind of fairly well not routine but everyone kind of knows the best mechanics for it now so it has gotten easier um but humanities is still a pain in the ass i'm sorry but he is We still not done the subway. It's a damn good. It's a good raid, but it you you need a really strong team in there, really, because just getting through the ads can take hours. They got so much AC, it's ridiculous. Yeah, they're, they're, we've been hoping Biomare would get done as well. You know, Foreman's dungeon, but whether or not that actually happens, I don't know. You see, the subway and the um, and the high-level temple, they could have been in progress, you know, back in 2016 and then 2017, you know, and then just finally released to the live server, but we don't really know. I always, I always check every time the servers come back up if there's any kind of patch on test live, <laughs> just see... If there's anything new, because that's where we found the uh, the subway, it was on test live. Found out it suddenly become a high level raid as well. There we go. It would be amazing, yeah, to have another dungeon to have a crack at. I fought the beast, and I found number nine. A result of the polls, which is our favourite dungeon. Yeah, I think so. I always thought the subway was brilliantly done. It was designed by the same dev or devs that did um, Foreman's, and you can kind of tell. You can kind. Of, there's a sort of sense to it that oh yeah, this you know how things get progressively harder, etc. There we go. My super useful <laughs> star. I'm wearing it, I don't care. It has shotgun on it. Yay! <laughs> yeah, they fit best with the AO theme. I think you're right, yeah. I, I would I would agree with that, yeah. Pyramid of Home is like close. 
you know, but I don't know. Secret love for steps of madness. God, that as a high level raid would be insane. It really would. You think about how hard it is at the, you know, if you go in there at like level 30, 40, my God. <laughs> it's really tough. It's because um, any level can enter it that it's it's considered like dead easy. But then, you know, you put 100 plus NT in there with VE and they just, em just clear it, you know, very, very quickly. It's a linear cave, not as interesting. Fair. Mind you, there, there was a time before they changed it that you could run the whole way down to the bottom of um, Foreman's as well. But with Foreman's, it branches off into different places, so... As does the, the, um, the subway. Which series of Let's Build a Tomb was your keeper on? Uh, special edition. I think. Let me check. <laughs> Go to my own channel and find out, because I can't remember. I want to say 10, but I'm not sure. The way YouTube works, even when you put all all of my Let's Build series on a bar, it doesn't it doesn't actually show them all on that bar, it just shows some of them. Playlists. Still doesn't show it. Yeah, series eight, Let's Build a Tomb Special Edition. It doesn't have as many episodes as most of the others, because that's when I started doing stuff on streams and that. So it does sort of say like in like some of the streams is actually named in between episode blah blah and blah blah. Zizarn. I always quite like the cyborg aspect of this game. It's a shame they didn't get a proper dungeon. Yeah, they kind of made an like in uh, not Avalon. Um, more in Mort. They put a load of them there, and I thought maybe they'd put a dungeon there, but they never did. Um, but yeah, smaller outposts everywhere. I mean, there's the kind of dungeon in Greater Tier County, but I don't know if that really counts. I suppose maybe it does. The revamp forums when I was 60 on my main, so I went there for the first time to do, do the new quests. Yeah, you had the... Um, I, can't, I think you always had the main quest you've still got now. The it, It's two different names. It's one name for Omni and another name for Clan. But yeah, you had two quests there. Late 2005, yeah. I can remember camping Tim when he was on like a two-hour spawn. Uh, to get a Tim scope for someone and like, you know, level 200 agents running in and going choo, 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 and then lo and then like selling the loot and being like, what the, <laughs> you know, what's my favourite area in Anarchy Online? Ooh, I don't know. That's a good question. A star and Hercules Lincoln. Yeah, it is basically the same quest though. Um, favourite area? I don't know. I don't know. I think Elysium's very beautiful, but it doesn't feel like Anarchy Online. As much, you know, it feels more fantasy game than science fiction game. I suppose favourite is, is difficult to define. I don't know. I don't know. I always used to love Varmit Woods. Um... But then I, sp I remember spending a lot of time like Newland Desert, early, you know, in the very early days, just hunting, and then going from Newland Desert to Varmint Woods because that was that was high level stuff, you know. Mine is Liberty Mine in Perpetual Wastelands where the high high B Borgs are. And good memories. I also, ding my first two hundred there. I ding two hundred first time, kind of 
by accident in a mission. Um, which I was quite annoyed about, <laughs> but they wouldn't unlevel me. I wanted to ding with a team of friends, you know, and then managed to do it all on my own in a, a, a regular raw K mission. Me like, God damn it. I think I s maybe on a disc in the loft, I might have a, the screenshot of it. I haven't got it on any hard drives anymore. Left side and follow the tank. It does always feel like there are fewer ads in iPand. Yeah, it's hard to gauge. I don't know if I've got a favourite. I've got lots of favourite places, but not a absolute favourite. Because I've got good memories from different places, you know. So, oh, I like this place because this happened here, and I like that spot because, you know, this, this happened there. You know, that kind of thing. We're doing the newbie quest to hunt down some chirrups. Yeah. Well, back in the day, it was like you got into the game and, and like you were killing stuff in the backyard until you could afford to leave. And then you were doing, dial, you know, content on demand missions and stuff. People going, "Is there any quests?" <laughs> and everyone going, "I don't know." Subway just outside Rome. Yeah, the original, like, it, it would have been really, really cool, that, but they never did implement it. If, um, if they'd have done it so each entrance, so the one in Tia, the one in West Athen, there was one in uh, Borealis, there was, I think, one in Newland at one point. If they'd all come into a different area of the subway, it would have felt like it was, ooh, you know. But then I suppose it's when you run back out, would would you, you know, would it be an actual quick way to get from one place to another? Kind of like a grid almost. You know, if you enter from Tyr and, and then run down this corridor, this corridor, past these mobs and then come out the Newland exit or the Borealis exit or something like that. Not like you can't get there quickly anyway, but it would have been nice to make it feel like it was really connected underground or something. Yeah, I always hoped that, you know, they were going to implement that eventually, but they never did. I mean, there was every chance when you entered in Rome that you'd get a different GS than you did entering in Tyr or, or West Athen. Yeah, it was. It was like abandoned technology they didn't use anymore because they had the grid and the wampers. So they didn't need physical transport anymore. It could all be done by digitising a person and whatnot. Yeah, <laughs> become a billionaire and just pay people to remake AO, yeah. There's been a few people... Um, <clears throat> that have, you know, come along on the forums especially and just sort of said, I want to buy the IP and, and make a better game, you know, and, and just, even when they were talking literal millions, it just, there was no, it never, it was just never going to happen. I don't know why. Um, I think there's some entanglement with Anarchy and the Norwegian government, but I don't quite know how it all works or whatever. Ayo, yeah, well, everyone says this, uh, like, you know, the graphic engine is is one thing. It's not. It's the entire game engine would have. You'd have to rebuild the entire game from the ground up to build it in a different game engine. There's game engine. There's graphic engine. There's scripting engine. Uh, there's logic engine. That you know, it's not. It's not like copy paste. It's it's. There's a lot more going on. You know. I mean, the beta engine is literally a copy-paste, but <laughs> that's why it's, it's so wonderfully stable. I can imagine it would look amazing. I mean, even if they made it in a 
If they'd have done it and got Ogre to work, it would have looked a lot better. But yeah, the you've got a, the, the UE the UE5. I've looked at it and it's everything engine, which is what's so attractive for game devs now. Hellgear, oi, Greybeard. Your soul is strong. Foot Roda. Cute ten-year-old memes incoming. I used to be an ornithologist, and then I took a swallow to the knee. Or a sparrow to the knee. <laughs> that was funny the first time I heard it. And someone told it me and I was laughing and someone else went, what? Went, oh, nostalgia, bird watcher, sparrow, arrow. never mind. <laughs> if I have to explain it, it's not going to be funny. Or actually, ornithologist is someone who studies birds rather than um, than a bird spotter. That's slightly different. I wonder if I want those gloves. Forty-six points. Oh, no, they're, they're quite desirable. That's shut up. I'll get me coat. <laughs> yeah. There were some good memes from, from Skyrim. And it, it's still kind of a relevant game now, but I think largely due to the fact that it, it's so moddable and it's been so heavily mod, modded. I mean, without that, if it had been like... Um, you couldn't run it without... It, it wouldn't run with mods or something like that or it was incredibly difficult to mod. Um, I don't think anyone would be thinking about Skyrim now. It just wouldn't be a thing. I think the only reason people come across it now is they go, oh, that was a really popular game back then. Oh, you can make it look like a new game now. Oh, you can do that, you know. How many Froob characters do you have? I don't know, 10, 20? Somewhere in the teens, I think but like proper finished off uh, Froobs probably two <laughs> the rest are just sort of mules and various experiments and stuff I mean I've actually got like god I don't know I lost the Gilbot 24 maxed out characters I think And a couple of Froobs in there. I mean, there's about 20 max max level, max everything characters. And then some Froobs. Some are, are not even in, in the guild list. They're just... Like I had one just for buying med suits. Little Omni Mule. That I don't really need anymore with the um, luxurious armor, etc. had to check I still have one character I wish I did I'd love to go and record in there on the new engine with all the you know shaders and whatnot and I still think that was a better starting area than ICC and I don't hate ICC and Arete but I kind of prefer that place as a starter it felt more like oh my god where am I what's going on you know it, um, but you know they like to redo the I mean, Arete is a kind of 14 years too late um, tutorial for AO. Taurus loot, nobody cares. <laughs> it's like a Taurus, no one cares. Taurus, Spirit of Patience. Add all death for 20 in a HUD slot. Mm, there's some slightly better items for that. I suppose at one upon a time, once upon a time, it was quite a desirable item, but, you know, these days, nah, not really. I 
I can remember being really made up that I won certain loot drops from Pan back in the day. I think Libra Sleeve or something? Or Leo Sleeve, I can't remember. The last time I was like, yes, I need that drop was the meditative. Meditative? Or med meditative. Vi vi vi. Uh, gloves, because of the intelligence on them to get um, alphas done on the trot crack. DJ Stoney, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Yes, yeah, so an early Sunday stream because I can stream. But after we've done the beast, that's going to be it. <laughs> Got to go make dinner. As we has the bot, I think so. And Mahoney wanted to add things to the bot, like um, you know, role play stuff, which I'm quite happy to do actually. I just don't know what he wants linking or whatever, but you know, we'll get to that when he's back off holiday, maybe. All inclusive bot of wonder. <laughs> that time we finish with it, and like link a bunch of. Um, AOU guides and stuff that are commonly asked. It's just sitting down and having the time to do it. I know, I wouldn't expect you to, you're moving this week. <laughs> Even though you're like designated um, link creator. Given you pretty much wrote half of the stuff on AOU. So. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't expect you to do that. You, you, you move in premises, so going to be like it's going to be like two weeks before you kind of proper settled in isn't it you gotta you gotta have like so get all your stuff in there get everything working and all the bills and, and everything transferred over the electric the broadband the gas settle in get the furnishings right then have a party and then it's home you know i've spent weeks preparing this is you see yourself me i just yolo it <laughs> and then regret it later. It's funny because in, in my professional life, I'm completely the opposite. I'm always like ultra prepared, but in like, you know, in socially, oh, chat. <laughs> if I'm just doing it for myself, I am terrible. I mean, when I decided to move from london back to north wales i did it in 12 hours from deciding to move <laughs> it was that mad that's what i do in real life all kinds of stuff actually um i'm i don't have like a regular nine to five i do a lot of guitar and um musical equipment servicing and repairing um all kinds. All sorts of bits and bobs come up. And I'm quite happy to sort of be like that. You know? Not for everyone, I get, you know. I mean, it may, um, there's not a lot of that work coming in anymore. I think with lock, the lockdowns killed off a lot of that. Because obviously those performers and bands, etc. weren't going out and gigging, so... Instead of seeing them every year for pat tests and stuff, it's like I can see a lot of their equipment getting sold on social media. <laughs> like the local Facebook group. For sale, PA system, hardly used. I'm going that. Bloody been hammered that has. It is a shame, but you know, this is it. Life, life changes, things happen, and you just adapt. And that's all you can do. You can't, you can't reverse it. It just is what it is. And sometimes it's difficult. Um, which one's double power? Stam strength. Kinda might want that. Mm. 
Uh, someone's already at 500. Oh well. Do today, yeah. If one had dropped in the previous run, which was real panned, I guess if that same belt had dropped now, it'd have gone for a lot less. It just varies, you know. I've seen them like nobody wanting them. <laughs> They've gone free for all as well. Like if you went on Monday, you might find that's the case. Everyone from the weekend got the stuff they needed on that particular tune and no longer kind of need it anymore. So less demand, less points spent on it. Seen that we did it once. Um, a Bok went for like a, a 12, 2,000 or something, and then another one dropped, uh, and it only went for 300 you know, on the second run. So, you know, anything can happen. Yeah. The red belts are usually... Well, it depends, doesn't it? If you're... Um, I know stamina and strength are the two easiest uh, stats to actually buff, but there's so many items and, and stackable buffs for stamina and strength. If it were the same for sense and uh, psychic, it wouldn't be nearly so hard to do offers on Atrox, but <laughs> there ain't. Feels a little imbalanced, but is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, everyone thinks it's going to be the intelligence or agility that's hard. Nope. Sense is the killer. Tank is down. Trying to drain the snot out of this, though. Yeah, it's well and truly debuffed now. It's hard when people keep attacking. True. Drive for an alpha eye on Trox. Crap. Too much work, so I just went with EOE. I did that. <laughs> I could have done it. We figured out how we would have done it as well. We needed, like, two more items um, and the plus 10 buff, and we could have done it. But the EOE was slightly better. Uh, 
better in slot anyway, because it's quite a high one. It was a six hour stream that and we, we stopped halfway through the process just to go to Pandemonium to get the Aquarius gloves. So we had to go restart a pan raid like four times to get Aquarius or whichever one it is to spawn so we could get the gloves. You wanted the crack to have that, yeah. Bombay, Sawadi, Sawadi. We're all very well here, as far as I can tell. Which is cool. Yes, it is. So, second beast kill, and then time uh, time for me to disappear and uh, go make the dinners. i got to wait for the tank to get himself back, and yada yada. Rebuffed. And the tank dies, it's the dock's fault. Ooh, shots fired. Even when the tank link deads. Okay, oh god. Oh yeah, yeah. You can blame Larry, I'll allow it. Oh. <laughs> All kinds of uh, aspersions being cast here. Check posture for 200. I am sat upright, so I am. It's difficult to do in this chair, by the way, because <laughs> the chair is basically worn out. I can hit him with melee from here. I think he's just got a massive hitbox or something. Wait, when did the sing price get raised? When people started abusing it? When mobs make player sounds when they die, because <laughs> he keeps thinking, "Oh no, <laughs> it's all gone, Pete Tong."
Yes, Grand Theft on the Beast. I'm proud of myself. That was only one swarm of ads, I think. We killed that one uh, very, very quickly. <laughs> Loch Ness, good night all. First work day after the holidays tomorrow. Well, it happens. Hey, um. Good luck at work tomorrow. Boots of Concourse, I'm guessing then Bok has not dropped. No. Nah. Thanks for the raids. I'm saying Bok. What oh, Bok? Bok has dropped. Oh, right. Well, I'm bidding on that. And we've on to Bok. A wild Mihalik appears on my way back from Le Beach. Very nice. We've got two beaches here and almost never visit them in the summer. Keep the points for ACDC. Drop you can buy for 1 billion. I haven't even got the cores to get into Sector 42 on this tune yet, so I'm not asked. So I'll have to do all that first. But I know what you're saying, yeah. It's only a billion, you can buy one. <laughs> Piffle. It's pocket change, man. Kind of is these days, almost. We'll see how... I'll put a bit in and just see how... If it goes silly, then, yeah. Kind of don't do it, you know? Because they didn't do the Bok first, I thought, oh, Bok hasn't dropped. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Vulpu, as well. And, of course, Mihalik as well. Vulpu is filthy rich. I think Vulpu works very hard at uh, economics in the game. <laughs> and has done for a very long time. Um, but unfortunately, is true. Yeah, yeah. If you buy and sell wisely, you can earn a lot of cred. You can make your creds work for you, not the other way around. I've never gone that far with it. I always tried to be shrewd about buying and selling in game, but yeah. And raid for all are only just stepping sector forty-two by the sound of it. So I don't think we're going to be. Uh, I'd be on way too late. I'll be cooking dinner in the middle of the night, you know, so. Well, not really, but it'd be too late, really. Imagine my first big hit was I had 25 billion work from farming when Grace's appeared. I bought 20 of them. Ah. And then sold them for 20 billion each. Ooh. Yep, that'll that'll get you started. Start the auction for that, okay. Straight up to eight hundred and fifty. Wow. I really want one though. Let's see. 
<laughs> when we go over to um like back to you know summer whatever uh, winter time I'll be able to do a lot more Hodor raids I think Sav can as well he's trying to guess how much I bid <laughs> yay <laughs> I can see him trying. Okay, let's let let. <laughs> oh, I feel cruel now. Doik, doik. Grats a nub. Well, I, I, yeah, you could stream snipe my bid. You see, he, I reckoned he'd gone for a thousand because it jumped so quickly um, with quite an odd number. So I went in at two thousand, and then somebody else tried to bid again when it suddenly jumped to thirteen hundred because maybe they were trying to guess that's what I'd gone for, and then it jumped to thirteen fifty, and then I won people in our chat are too nice <laughs> well here's the other thing though folks you see i get this and uh, don't forget the other night we were out doing stuff for shinies and where did i put it <laughs> that's, gonna, that's been the catchphrase for this tune since i made it really hasn't it Ah, there you are. Bing. What's the comp lit? 1950. Well, we are a trader. Yes, there we go. You've already got this nano program. That's not what I'm trying to do. There you go. A blue box. Because I already had the uh, upgrade. So well worth it for me. I'm going to need cred creds for intellies as well not noob armor we need another bock an orange one for social and a blue one for <laughs> yeah i could i could get an orange one now because they're unique, but they're only unique with, within themselves. Oof. Yeah, but that's going to make life so much easier. Look, look at the stats already. Without putting any twinking gear on. That's going to make alphas a damn sight easier. And nothing says, look, I'm not a noob, more than a blue rocket pack. So I'm quite happy with that result. I know it was kind of expensive. But, you know, I'm okay with that. With a few points. It will get the Dio back first and forget about the Bok. Yeah. <laughs> it's just such a useful item for gearing as well. Right, and that's it. A little bit of a short stream tonight, I know, but, you know, I had the chance to stream, so I did. Is anyone else streaming that we know we could go and raid? Maybe not Nave Zero. I've kind of raided him like four times lately. I 
knows Eevee. We could go raid Eevee. Actually, he's going to raid Pathetic Wolf just for the lols. He's good. He's very good. He's playing Dark Souls at the minute. There you go. Go raid him back. I think he's just finishing his stream. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. Never mind, everybody. Go say hi. Just for the lols. <laughs> anyway, thanks all and bye for now. Oh, God, Digital Dad just subscribed. <laughs>